Hey everyone, my name is David Terrace. I'm the head of the Federal Criminal Defense Practice at the Rawson Law Firm. What we're going to be talking about today is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to be discussing regarding what the government is currently calling and what experts, defense attorneys, prosecutors are estimating is going to end up being the largest fraud, the largest theft of U.S. government funds in United States history. Specifically, what we're going to be talking about here in this series is fraud related to the Paycheck Protection Program that was instituted under the CARES Act, under the COVID-19 relief funds that were provided by the government, referred to as PPP. And when we talk about it in the context of criminal defense and government investigations, we're talking about PPP fraud. So there's about $2.2 trillion total under the CARES Act. The CARES Act was enacted in 2020, related to the pandemic, of course, and hundreds of billions, roughly about 900 billion of that $2.2 trillion was allocated to the PPP program. The real purpose of this video series is to highlight and to discuss with you how aggressive the government through the Department of Justice, DOJ, is being in investigating and prosecuting individuals for PPP fraud and how we are protecting our clients and fighting back against the government as it relates to PPP fraud specifically. In future videos, we're going to talk about a number of different charges that uh, criminal charges that are associated with PPP fraud, wire fraud, bank fraud, identity theft, money laundering. We'll go into specifics of that. But for the purpose of today's video, we're going to talk about what is PPP fraud? What is the purpose? Why is the government coming so, so hard as it relates to Paycheck Protection Program fraud? When we're talking about PPP loan fraud, we're looking at really two major areas. One is the application itself, the request for the loan, and the other is the way that the money is being spent. Experts are just coming to find that possibly as much as 80 to 100 billion dollars of the 900 billion that was issued that the government granted to individuals as part of the Paycheck Protection Program was fraudulently obtained or fraudulently spent. That is a huge amount of money. It rivals the largest fraud possibly imaginable in United States history. And this is truly, the investigations are truly just beginning. Even for loans that were taken back in 2020, 2021, the program did dry up. The government is now going back, especially as people are now requesting forgiveness. They're going back and looking at these loans, especially the PPP loans, which are eligible for forgiveness, and they're really auditing them. They're looking at every individual, every company that requested them to make sure that they were requested, that the money was spent for the proper legal purpose. The government has tunnel vision right now. Department of Justice is embarrassed. They're very embarrassed. This is a government program that issued money in what a lot of experts believe was in a very reckless manner to a lot of people. A lot of people who needed this money did not get it. A lot of people who did not need this money did get it because when the pandemic happened, there was not a lot of oversight, especially in the PPP. You didn't have to submit documentation. You just certified on the site that you were eligible for this money and a lot of fraud was committed. But a lot of individuals who are investigated or believed to have committed fraud by the Department of Justice, by the FBI, Office of Inspector General, whoever it might be, did not commit fraud. Again, Department of Justice has major tunnel vision right now. They are being over-inclusive. You need to contact an attorney. You need to contact us at the Rawson Law Firm to make sure that you do not fall into a category of individuals who are believed to have committed PPP fraud. In future videos, we're going to be discussing what specifically are the crimes uh, that are alleged to have been committed in relation to PPP fraud, the potential penalties, the way the court process works, the way investigations work, and why especially it is so important that you hire an attorney early and that you are very proactive about retaining counsel and retaining the Rawson Law.